Hola amigos y amigas, Javier here for Hum of the Earth, and today we'll be learning about the town of Becal in Campeche and their tradition of producing hippie hats. So I had actually started the day in Calquini, which is the most Mayan town in Mexico and is the um, bigger town in the, this area. Becal is actually part of Calquini. It's like a muni municipality of the town of Calquini. Um, so I'd finished checking out Calquini and then uh, I made my way to the uh, collective taxi stand and I knew there was a few interesting towns to check out around here. And I saw that one bus was filling up and that bus, or rather van, uh, was heading to Bical. So I jumped in and I headed over there right away. And it didn't take too long before we arrived in Bical, right in the uh, town center. So the first thing I did was just uh, enjoyed some of the architecture, the uh, Spanish colonial architecture, which is very common around here, um, as well as the, uh, the church and um, some of the street food from the Central Park. <laughs> And um, as I was walking around the park, I also noticed that there was a uh, statue of the two hats there. And I had heard previously that uh, the town of Bical was famous for the production of these hats. Basketry, the art of weaving vegetable fibers, usually by hand, has been a part of Mayan tradition for centuries. With a combination of wood and whatever plant fibers were available in the area, Mayan artisans would produce useful objects and products such as necklaces, earrings, bracelets, bags, fans, sandals, baskets, etc. At the height of the Spanish haciendas in the 1800s, henequen along with the hipiapa palm were common crops grown to be turned into fiber. This, with the influence of Spanish style, led to the first hippie hat being produced here in 1872. The hippie hat is often referred to as the Panama hat, 
but is um, this type of hat is produced in many parts of Latin America. But Bacal is considered Mexico's capital of hippie hat production. Although Bacal artisans also produce shoes, purses, bags, and earrings with the hippiapa palm, the hippie hat is so important to Bacal that it is the town's main statue in its central park. But in Bacal, you can do more than just buy a hat, as the people selling them are often willing to teach you how they're made. Que se elabora los sombreros por la fresquedad que nos brinda la cueva para que sea más fácil aplicar el sombrerito de hippie japa. Ok. Fíjate la cueva, aquí se elabora es los una, sombreros. ¿Es una cueva natural? No, es artificial, es hecha. Es okay. hecha. Sí. Eh, ¿Por qué necesito frío uh, para la hacer? La frescura. Lo fresco que tiene la cueva, la humedad, se necesita. Lo húmedo para que absorba lo que es el tejido. Para que se pueda ir tejiendo. Ah, okay. Sí. Un sombrero de primera calidad se elabora en un día, one day, one day. Okay. Segunda calidad, dos días. Eh, segunda calidad, cuatro días. Tercera, una semana. Una semana, tercera calidad. Cuarta calidad, quince días. Ah. Y la, la quinta calidad se elabora en veinte días. Ok. Sí. Es, ese es nada más lo que es la cueva. Ok. Sí. Eh, ¿Tienes un una jardín aquí? Vale. ¿Un jardín? Uh, ¿Un uh, jardín? ¿La planta? Sí. Esta es la planta donde se elabora el sombrero. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Es este, son estos así. Ah, ok, bueno. Sí, son estos. Se pinta de tinte natural, con lo que es el chayote, la hoja de chaya, el palo tinte de campeche. Con eso se puede pintar. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Sí, esta es la, la plantita. Ok, ¿y uh, ustedes uh, haces...? Uh... Lo hacemos acá. Bueno, Nosotros bueno. lo elaboramos aquí. Aquí mm. tenemos lo que es el molde. Pero le damos la forma al sombrero, el molde, la horma. Okay, okay, okay. Model tradicional americano, hay pachuca, australiano, tejano, bronco, ese de cubano. Hay varios diferentes tipos de moldes para cada sombrero. Ok. Sí. Bueno. Interesante. Gracias, gracias. So I hope you've enjoyed this tour in history of the town of Bical in the state of Campeche. If you did, please click the like button or leave a comment letting me know what you thought about the video. Also, if you've enjoyed this video, I have other similar videos of nearby towns in Campeche, including Pomuch, which has a interesting ritual regarding uh, family members that have passed away as well as the town of Tenabo, which was uh, had some very friendly residents that I got to interact with, and that was uh, quite fun. So those are two other videos on the channel, and I have other videos of the towns in this area of uh, Campeche, as well as uh, an upcoming video on the uh, Mayan culture in present day, and uh, talking about to which degree it still exists and its future. I got to interview some people of my descent. And I have some other videos of the city of Campeche where I stayed for a few months and of uh, some other place in the Yucatan that I'm going to check out uh, next. So if you want to check out those videos, I have a link to that playlist containing those videos in the description um, below this video as well as a, another link to a playlist of the videos I made when I was bicycling through Mexico three years ago. 
Um, that was part of a larger trip bicycling through Latin America. I've also bicycled through Eastern Africa and Eastern Europe, and I have playlists for all those countries that I've bicycled through available on this very same YouTube channel, Hum of the Earth. And if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I went and everything that I got to see and do, I have that available over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com. Where you can click on the different locations and see the various blog posts and videos that I've made of those places. And if you'd like to follow my continuing adventures through the Yucatan Peninsula and beyond, you can do so by clicking on the red subscribe button and clicking on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. Alright, so that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.